Hey, Dal. Look at that. Some stray rib come here to roost. Well, if that don't beat all. The good boy really needed that. My wife will have some food for you all in just a minute. Dow, I think I need to have me some fun with that little rib. Can I have some fun, Dow? Johnny. You know him? Yes, I do, Mr. Pierce. Later, Zachary. I want to watch Bart make his acquaintance. <laughs> Hey, you, Reb. Hey, you, Reb. This here water's for horses. It ain't for no jackass. I come here to water my horse. Then you do that. Well, not with your face in I don't want him contaminated. Don't push. Push? Well, Reb, you ought to be used to being pushed. Well, we push you clear from Gettysburg through Georgia. You gotta admit, you've been pushed real good. was done. So it is. But... <laughs> I'm not. Yeah. I'm gonna enjoy pushing you pretty good. Push you? Can <laughs> I push? Now you done it, Fred. Now you don't push me no more. I'll blow your eyeballs out. Both of them. <laughs> you had enough fun for one day, Bart? <laughs> I tried to tell you, Mr. Pierce. That's Ned Yuma's boy. Is that a fact? Well, uh, that sort of makes him your kin, don't it, Sacker? Well, uh, not exactly, Mr. Pierce. He's my wife's nephew, not mine. Ned Yuma's boy, huh? Well, maybe the fun's just starting. All over again. Jess. Jess. Jess, come on, get up. Oh, go on, let me be. I ain't hurting nothing. No. My pa out of town? He comes back and finds you like this, you're gonna be in deep trouble. Uh, Jess, it's me, Johnny. Jess. Johnny. Well, I ain't never seen you pie-eyed before. Come on, let's get some coffee in you and get this place straightened up before Pa gets back. John, you should come back soon. Guess what's wrong with you? What's happened in this town? Where's my Pa? Oh, uh, Johnny. Yes, where's my pa? Just a few weeks ago, Johnny, they rode in, took over the mine, forced the owners to sell out for practically nothing. Everybody just backed down. Most uh, family people moved away after they killed him. He wouldn't sing small. They uh, 
killed five men already. Always self-defense. It's not worth it anymore. Take my horse and ride out, Johnny. That's what we're all gonna have to do. Did they shoot him in the back? They didn't have to. There was enough of them in front of him. Was he alone? Why was he alone? Johnny, you don't understand how it happened. I understand. Where was the rest of the town? All his friends. Where were you, deputy? Where were you, Johnny? The war's been over for more than a year. Has it? Well, there's different kinds of wars. There's wars that don't end just because a white flag goes up. Somebody signs a piece of paper. There's wars that go on inside. Johnny, uh, don't do anything crazy. Uh, you didn't come back all this way just to die. If the sun hadn't been in my eyes, he'd have never got that first one across. I'm going to put six slugs right through his brisket. Is that before he gets your eyeballs? Huh? Uh, sure you will, Black. Sure. You better believe it. He was lucky. I'm going to kill him. Bart. Yeah? You better wait till your britches dry. Two cards. Well, I'm getting tired of waiting for a lot of things. Is there anything you'd like to do about those other things? Yeah, well... When are Lathan Shett getting back with them Mexicans? I'm getting sick of this. They'll be here. Then all we'll have to do is sit back and stack that gold when they dig it out of that mine for us. Of course, now, if you're getting tired of waiting, maybe you'd like to go down that hole and do a little digging all by yourself. Yeah, well... Bart! You say, yeah, like that one more time, and I'm gonna crack your skull. Now, shut up! Raise five. Jack nine, ace king, king death. Fair nines. <clears throat> uh, you know, beg pardon, Mr. Pierce, but, uh, we're about out of provisions. So get some more. Well, well it's the money. Uh, I'm all out. You, you promised me money that you'd pay for all this, and... Well, I've spent all I had, and if you just... Uh... I just bet five more. Your credit's good at the store, ain't it? Put it on your bill. But you promised... That's all, sucker. Mr. Pierce, I... I think that you've been... Simi! You didn't even go to your own brother's funeral. No. Bart back here tells me he's liable to have to kill your nephew, too. Of course, now, I ain't a mind let him do it. But just in case he does, are you figuring on missing that funeral, too? Hello, John. You turning out like the rest of them? I'm just a small businessman going out of business. You're closing down the bulletin because of them? That's correct. Oh, yes, I saw what you did to one. Any time they want to, my poor innocent lamb, they'll devour you like the ravaging jackals they are. If you leave... If you leave, everybody else will. There's just the quick and the dead. Dow Pierce in between. The jackals will inherit the earth. At least this part of it. And they're welcome to it. Why haven't you sent for government troops? We have. We're still waiting. I guess they're too busy attending to the defeated Confederacy or the undefeated Indians. So the town died and so did your father. You and Pa. You were the two people I... John, I loved your father like my own brother. But I'm not anxious to join him. I'm sorry if that sounds cruel or cowardly. But the things you wrote. 
That's mostly what set me off to reading and wondering. Stay ignorant, John. Ignorance is the greatest comforter of all. I remember something you printed in your paper. Something about... For everybody, there's a time to decide. That's when the brave man chooses and the coward steps aside. That was a reprint. Words always did come easy to me. I even thought of asking you for a job. John, I read those letters you wrote your father. They were cool, but beautifully expressive. You know, you could be a writer. I wanted to say things the way you did. After all my brave words, I suppose I ought to be ashamed. But they smashed my press. Promised to smash my head, and I don't want my head smashed. So I'm not staying. I looked at death. Trembled. I'm sorry if my brave words have misled you. Goodbye, Mr. Dodson. Hey, Bart. Here comes your rebel friend. I think he just come back from visiting his daddy. I'm gonna get his nose. Bart. When I tell you, not before. Of course, you can sort of rile him up a little bit in the meantime. Hmm. Hey, you, Yuma! You have a nice talk with your daddy? <laughs> How'd he look to you, Reb? A little pale. <laughs> hey, you, Reb! You better hightail it out of here while you can. I'm gonna get your nose. <laughs> Big, brave soldier boy backing down. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I'm not in the land of cotton. The Rebs lost the war and the bones are rotten. Look away, look away, look away, Johnny Reb. <laughs> hey, you little cottontail. You better scat while you can. Oh, I'm glad I'm not a rebel. Hooray, hooray. I'm glad I'm not in the land of cotton. Hooray, Reb! Johnny. Johnny, you're... you're looking good. Why didn't you come by and see your Aunt Emmy? I thought you were too busy catering to your brother's killers. Johnny, that's not fair. We've just been trying to keep things going. We're, we're trying to keep the town together. After all, somebody's got to show some sense. Sense! You trying to make sense with the ones who killed your own brother? Just because my brother was a fool doesn't mean the rest of us don't have to go on living. He let himself be goaded into being shot dead. Your father was a fool, Johnny. Don't talk about my father. What did he ever do for you? He cared more about his honor and duty in the law than he did his own family. You never thought about anything but your own skins. Why did you run away a dozen times before you were 15 years old? Why did you go to war? To fight for a cause? Why, you didn't know what a cause was. It was just another kind of running away. But why don't you keep on running? All you can do around here is make trouble for the rest of the town. You don't care about the rest of the town. I came here to help you, Johnny. You're just thinking about yourself and your bootlicking husband. Oh, all you Yumas, you hold your nose when Zecker walks by because you can't stand the smell of good sense. Zecker knows what he wants. He wants to take care of what's his. He's smart. He's what a husband and a father should be. You had no cause to do that, Mr. Pierce. I've tried to help you, to cooperate with you. All I'm asking for is part of what you owe me, just so I can buy provisions for you. You make me sick, Zucker. 
Why do you talk like that, Mr. Pierce? I've been the only one in town who's tried to help you. I got bills here. <laughs> Them provisions ain't back here in half an hour. I'm coming after you and them. Ooh. Ooh. Let's take him over to Tonkin. That's the way it is, Johnny. You can't fight them. You can't even do business with them. We're, uh, all of us changed, Johnny. Mostly me. They called me down and I ran. I ran right for a bottle. I got no right wearing a badge. This just got too heavy for me since they killed your father. Yes, I'm getting awful sick of your whimpering and belly aching. Another thing. Quit following me around like some puppy dog. You're supposed to be a man. John. I've been reading over my old editorials. It may be that a man who listens to himself is twice a fool, but I'm staying. Probably just long enough to write my own obituary, but I can still pull a trigger, and I think I can fix that press. Thanks, Mr. Thompson, but there's more around here needs fixing than that press. What can we do? You already did. Now, please just stay inside someplace. Hey, boys, looky. Here comes that big, brave soldier boy again. And he got his daddy's gun on. He wants to die like his daddy did. And you're going to be by your daddy's side, sonny, unless you keep on going right out of town. <laughs> ben, please, you got to be reasonable. They only give me a half hour. Don't worry about that for now. We'll get you patched up first. Mr. Tompkins, I want the key to that room. What are you trying to do with this, Reb? Did you ever see a cat play with a mouse? The game is draw, gentlemen. Jack's a runner.
Which is Dow's horse? Over there. I figure I got this much coming. Johnny. I... My saddle across the street. Johnny, why don't you stay? suppose you'll want that job now. Well, thanks, Mr. Dotson. Changed my mind. Things I gotta learn aren't here. It's just another stopping off place. I know that. You're gonna try to keep writing? I'll try to while I keep going. I'd like to send you what I put down from time to time. Maybe... Maybe you can keep it and help me fix it up later. I'd like to do that, son. You've got a lot to see. I think one day you'll have a lot to say. But you can't write it unless you've lived it. Maybe that was my mistake. Where do you go? Here and there. Doesn't matter. Johnny. It was your pause. Thanks. And Jess, I don't think that badge is a bit heavy for you. <laughs> 